Scott Nearing called it it's about they called it the good life they wrote this book in the 1930s they left society they left New York City they went to Vermont and they built themselves a, a stone house and he was a PhD in economics and he said in the 1930s think how much worse it is now we basically live in a wage economy and the wage economy is going to increase depression anxiety and lower happiness and so I, I'm gonna put a G here for the good life that's what this L stands for. It's not L like what people say, like taking an L. This is the good life. So this stands for active income one plus active income two plus passive income equals lifestyle. You want to have ideally two forms of active income, one possibly two forms of passive income to get a lifestyle. Most people just have A, active income. They got a job, okay? So if you want to, be able to withdraw this out of your bank account at a moment's notice without even noticing it, 20 grand or whatever this is. Yeah, it's 20 grand. Um, listen carefully. So the four pillars. Number one, I recommend for most of you, best thing you can do, and it's insane how many people have now listened to this. When I first started saying people thought it was crazy, I started telling people, learn how to monetize social media. So I, st I came up with this this SMMA concept, over I think 35,000 people, I've trained them in building an SMMA. So that's a great A1. A2, the second A2, so that corresponds to this right here. A2 is e-com. That's a great A1. E-commerce. If you look, um, Black Friday was just a few months ago, and Christmas time, more was purchased online. E-commerce just means buying things online. That's, there's many different classifications, but I'm gonna keep it simple. Anything like, for example, if you go to Barnes and Noble and you buy a book, that's not e-commerce. If you buy a book on Amazon, that's e-commerce. Netflix is e-commerce. Oh, uh, Facebook cut off, I gotta restart oh, Facebook. That's okay, no. I'm gonna keep going though, yeah. Um, Blockbuster video, that was not e-commerce. So move, everything's moving online. Every Sears just declared bankruptcy. I don't know if you saw that. So I'm gonna, I think I started 2006, I believe was. So it's been going for about 12 plus years. It's always been a passive source of income for me. This year I bought uh, almost 650 acres. Now I do like land development and things like that. So I do a little different. That's not what I recommend you start with, but. I'm working on getting, putting together about a thousand acres right now. So real estate, there's different forms. There's like four different forms of real estate you can do, but we'll talk about that later. Then the last thing your New Year's resolution should be about credit. The glue that can hold this whole thing together, especially real estate, is if you can repair your credit and increase your credit score. This, these four pillars right here go a long way in life. And there's a million ways to do it now. The simplest one to start with, you can start with no money, is a social media marketing agency. I was reading one of my mentors, my second mentor, Alan Nation, he died a few years ago, like two years ago. Can I see this when you get a chance? Yeah. He died a couple of years ago. Let me read a few comments here. Instagram. What's up, Instagram? By the way, let's give some money. Let's give 100 bucks, I'm on PayPal. Last time I tried to do this, like PayPal Live, PayPal blocked me. I was like giving people 100 bucks playing basketball. So apparently, you got to do it slowly. They have a bulk upload. Um, so let's pick somebody. Speaking of Instagram, all right. Tell me when to stop, Josh. Stop. Stop. We got Erica. Oh, wait. All right. Went too fast. Tell me when to stop. You gotta stop. do it on that phone. Let me do it on this phone. I'm gonna pin it. Actually, I'll just say stop and you just pin wherever your finger. Jacob's gonna do it. All right, ready, set, pin it. Who is it? It is pinned. It's what? It's pinned. It's Malam 1999. Malam 1999. All right, it's pinned in Instagram. I'm gonna send you hundred bucks. What's up, Malam? I'll do it on Facebook. We're streaming on four places right now. So for all you paying attention, okay. Social media marketing, 
here's how you get started. Simplest thing, every place you eat, every place you go that's a business is a potential client that'll pay you one to $10,000 a month. Simple as that, like literally as simple as that. Your dentist, your doctor, the pizza place you go to, the subway, the deli, the supermarket, the real estate agent you use, they don't know how to get customers online. If you run their social media marketing for them, their Instagram, their Facebook, their Twitter, their YouTube, uh, their Google ads, if you're gonna run AdWords, you can run their Facebook ads, they'll pay you, they'll sign a contract. I've seen it now. 35,000 people I've trained to do this. Uh, we're having a hard time keeping track. It's made millionaires. M millionaires last year, millionaire in 20, millionaires in 2017, millionaires in 2016. This is the third year I've been teaching this. 2016, I launched it in October. So all to, uh, the last half of 2016, 2017, 2018, now we're into 2019. This just works. Like if you hate your job, like stop being afraid. This just works. And it works in every country and it works for every age group. In fact, uh, there's a 17 year old that I was just talking to in New York, 17 years old in high school, did these two things right here, made six figures in high school. And there's a lot, there's people becoming millionaires before they're 21. Now, not everybody does, but not everybody gets a six pack. Not everybody <laughs> does anything. But it's not like you have to have some special powers. It's just the people who do stuff. Like if you're a procrastinator, I, by the way, mindset thing, I hope 2019's the last year you look back and uh, you know, you look back and feel like your year wasn't full of procrastination. So e-commerce is the other thing. Let me look, I've got an e-com business. I've been posting, uh, let me post some stuff from Stripe or whatever. Here today, this is one of my e-com businesses. This last four weeks, we're at one, this is a real, this isn't a screenshot, this is a real Stripe. We're at 1.27. This is just one of my side businesses. This isn't my main business. This is not even my A2. This is like my A3 or 4 business. And it's doing it's 1.2 million a month, so it's averaging around 40,000 a day. Uh, we're averaging, we have 75,000 people. It's MentorBox. It's a company called MentorBox that I've been talking about. So, yeah. Okay. Shiva says, I have a Shopify store. Started when I was a sophomore in high school. Have over, uh, I had over 300 sales in two months. You motivated me, Ty. Sweet. Good. There you go. Somebody's, that's on Facebook. Okay. Let me take a few questions. By the way, oh, I was going to say, you got, tomorrow we're closing. I got a special, I got a program that will train you on all four of these. You can get it for under 500 bucks or you can buy them individually. Normally it's $2,500. So if you wanna save $2,000, I'm gonna put a link. Pin the link there. What is the link? I'll put it right here too. Yep. Slap or slash mirrors live. Tylopez.com new years live. live if you go to that special link that link's going to stop working tomorrow so you got 24 hours left and you'll save 2500 bucks if you wait you're going to spend a heck of i'm sorry is it 2500 or 2000 i think you saved 2000 so you can also buy if you're already in one of the programs you can just buy an one of the individual ones, the social media, marketing, or e-commerce. Um, they've got about 40 hours of training in each one from five or 10 different gurus. I teach in them. Um, I've got, now my students are starting to teach, which is cool. It's been long enough that I've been doing these programs that now the success stories, I just have them come and teach how they went from rags to riches. No better teacher than somebody who in the last year went from you know being a wage earner to making six figures some of them are at six figures a month i mean uh yeah a month all right where's the youtube comments you have to refresh this 
Did you make it public? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, here's Malam 1999. I said, send me your PayPal. I said, awesome, I'm super excited to continue learning. So there you go, Malam. That's not his real name, by the way. I think you didn't turn YouTube on. Yeah, it's on. Was it private? No, I see a lot of uh, comments on my end. Then what am I looking at? I'm looking at the wrong, is this, are you sure this is the right place to look at the comments? Oh, oh, it's in the corner right there. Yeah. Refreshing. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Just trying to be able to see everybody's comments. Mitchell, Ty, I learned so much from you. Oh yeah, there we go. Did I know Grant Cardone before doing business with them? Nope, I mean we met a couple, I don't know when I met Grant Cardone. A couple years ago. Yeah, I'm not sure when I met him. Okay, let's take some questions. So, a good place to start by the way. Who here has crappy credit? I was talking, I just shot a video with one of my top students in Las Vegas and he went, uh, he showed me his credit, he had like 460 two years ago, or sorry, a year ago, well, it's newly 2019, I think it was in tw the end of 2017 and now he's at like 800, so, did you put it public now? Is that, was it always public? Because now the numbers just shot up, I wonder why. Very interesting. All right, let's pick a few more people. Let's pick somebody else. Let's pick somebody on YouTube. Da -da -da. I'm gonna pay by you a hundred bucks. Jeff J. Cunningham, any advice on speaking tips? Jeff, I'm gonna send you a hundred bucks. Let me, can you, uh, you gotta scroll up, find this guy. Here we go. Yeah, on YouTube. Can you pin him? Yeah, Jeff J. Cunningham. Jeff J. Cunningham, okay. Yes, speaking on stage, that will help you. Speaking in general will help you. Did you know, there's a great book, write this book down, everyone should read. It's called, um, uh, what is the name? The, bill, the Self Made Billionaire Effect. That's what it's called, The Self Made Billionaire Effect. Anyway, they study, and they just did, I just saw an article on this like two days ago. They redid the study. The number one thing, that billionaires did before they were billionaires, they got into sales. And these two things have a sales element. Even real estate, even credit repair, if you wanna fix your credit, a lot of times you gotta call up Chase, you gotta call up the provider and be like Amex and you have to say, listen, increase my credit limit, for example. You can talk them into it. Um, you can talk them into waiving the fees. People don't know that. The annual fees, you can call them up and be like, yo, you know, and there's a certain script we give for those of you who get in the program today. We have an exact word for word script, uh, script of what you just say when you call them. So it's a really imperative skill that you have. And the biggest, one of the biggest tragedies of the school system, including the university system, nothing's taught about sales. It's looked down upon. But at the end of the day, even the job you have, you're like selling yourself to get a raise, to get a promotion. Um, if you are an introvert, you still have to know how to sell. And you can be an introverted salesperson too. So I would say, I'll give you a couple of tips on public speaking as it pertains to sales too. First thing is, you just gotta put in some raw hours. Start small, assemble like five of your friends. I know this sounds crazy, but this is how I did my TEDx talk, which now is at like nine million views. It's one of the top 15 most viewed TEDx talks of all time. I shot it in 2014. And before I did, I invited a whole bunch of friends over and I like just random people. And I told them to bring a friend, probably 20 people came over and I just gave a talk to them because it's better to give a talk in front of 20 people and mess it up than in front of 9 million people. 
And so by the time I did my TEDx talk, I had already practiced it at least 50 times. And I rarely do that. Now I don't do it as much. So, yeah, you don't always have to um, rehearse. Eventually you'll get good enough. It's like LeBron James. Yes, he practices basketball in the off season, but trust me, between games now, he's mostly resting. He's already got the skill. Yeah, he'll have some team little shoot arounds in the morning, but that's more just to keep his body warm. Once you become a master, which if you read the book Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, it says roughly takes you 10,000 hours, which mm, at 40 hours a week is about eight years. And he'd been playing basketball. If you look at Messi, Ronaldo, all these soccer players, these guys have been playing soccer for 40,000 hours. So it's a raw hour game that you have to get into and you just have to speak. And that's why one of the best things you could do for those of you who had kids uh, or have kids is, man, make them do something door-to-door -door sales in the summertime. Like that, that will increase your income for life. That's the, or that is the best chance to increase your income. So I'll add a New Year's resolution for 2019. Learn how to be more persuasive. Learn how to sell. If you're single, you got to learn how to sell yourself, not in a manipulative way, not in a deceiving way, but let's just face it. You go out, you see somebody on the street you're attracted to or you're on a first date. There's definitely people that know how to bring out the best in themselves and be persuasive. And there's we've all been around some people that suck at it. And those people who suck suffer. So don't suck at that. Um, how come? Oh, OK. YouTube now is like 2000 people watching. That just shot up. Um, Okay, what's up YouTube? Just to reiterate, because a lot of you just, we probably have like, counting all three of these, we have like 4,000 people on live right now. So four pillars to increase your financial success for 2019, New Year's resolution. Learn social, learn, you wanna have at least two forms of active income. Now, if you already have a career, let's say you have a nine to five job already, you can replace one of these squares with that active one or active two. That's what A1 and A2. Your ideal life, the G life, the good life, comes from at least two forms of active income. When I say active, the difference between active and passive. Active means you are actually like waking up and involved in that business on a day-to-day -day basis. P businesses, passive, like real estate, or I was showing one of my e-commerce business. Uh, this is the Stripe account. Let's see if we've got any sales. We've done. 25,000 today, the day's not over, 1.2 million in the last four weeks. That's a passive income. I spend maximum five minutes a day on it. Um, now there's days when I need to spend, a, actually today I spent a little more time on it. We're doing, a, um, we're actually selling some shares in the company, so I was on the phone for an hour with a lawyer. But that's, at max I spend an hour a month on that, on that business. A lot of the real estate that I own, like I have real estate, for example, I used to live in North Carolina and I was just looking at a property that I forgot I have, and I, I, I literally forgot. That's how you know it's passive income. I forgot I had it. I get a statement from a property manager, and I haven't opened those statements in years, and I just happened to be looking through my Gmail, and I was like, oh, let me see. And sure enough, rents have been raising. One of my friends, before I start, my childhood friend, his name is Joey, um, he told me a long time ago before I started investing in real estate, he's like, dude, my dad became a millionaire from real estate. This is what he did. You buy properties, you rent them out, and because of the general trend in rental markets, especially now, after the crash of 2008, more people rent. So he's like, you just up the rents, up the rents. Not in a crazy way. Like, I, I was looking at, this is just a little condo, and um, it's the rent, I'm sorry, it's not a condo, it's actually a house, this one in North Carolina that I forgot about. And the rent started out, it's just a little $1,200, I think, 10 years ago. And now it's like $2,000, but the mortgage stayed the same. I took out a mortgage on it, like a little investment mortgage. And so now, literally, my, it started out that I had some negative cash flow on that property. It was one of my first investment properties. And um, so I would have to put in about $200 a month from my active income to cover. But now the thing pays the mortgage and you know, probably nets, let's say 400 bucks a month, just a little thing. But the beautiful thing is that property value is also increasing, but the mortgage is a fixed mortgage. 
So a property like that, you end up with a $500,000 house that only in the first few years did you have to supplement it from your active income and you can tax deduct the interest if you have a mortgage. So you get a little tax deduction and that house is gonna sit there. I'm gonna have insurance on it. As long as it doesn't burn down, you can let that house ride out for your whole life. You can have more than P1, P2, you can have P200. Now I have lots of real estate, but I'm just talking, thinking back since a lot of you are just starting out, I'm giving you what I was like when I was you guys, or some of you maybe are, you know. Now me and um, my business partner, you know, we're sad if we, if we have a business that doesn't do a million dollars a month. Back then I was trying to make a million dollars a year with one business. Now we have a portfolio of companies, so. All right, let's give another person, I'm gonna do Instagram, or we haven't done, have we done Twitter yet? Okay, let's do Twitter and Facebook. I'm gonna PayPal somebody. All right, you see uh, the comments, Adam? Okay, just pin one when I say one, two, three. Tell me who they are. One, two, three. Just, can you pin it? We lost our Twitter. And let's do the same thing for, oh, I can do Facebook myself. All right. One. One, two, three on Twitter. All right, it's gonna be Ariel. Uh, Just pin one, whichever one pin, pins. Saif says, Ty, I've built five CBD sites from scratch. Brooke said, oh my God, why well, haven't been watching your content every day? I haven't been live every day for, I haven't been live. I took about a month off. It's James Kova, by the way, on um, Twitter, James Kova. James Kova on Twitter, sending you 100. We'll pin that comment. All right, I'm gonna pin somebody uh let's pin somebody here how do you stay motivated daily that's a great question billy francis brown says me 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 don't comment me 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 that's not going to get you the money j tebow cunningham you related to anybody who plays football all right I'm just gonna pick somebody. All right, Joanna Ramirez, gonna PayPal you 100 bucks. Damn it, shit went too fast. All right, Joanna Ramirez, we'll find you on Facebook. Facebook. That's a pain. Joanna, you gonna you need to comment again. The comments come faster than I can pin it. Can you pin it over there? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll screenshot it. Joanna Ramirez. Now, nobody change your Facebook username to Joanna Ramirez. People will do that for 100 bucks. It's crazy. Okay, um, by the way, I'm gonna go here in a little bit, but I just wanted to shout this out because New Year's started. Get these four pillars here, rocking and rolling. Get at least two active incomes. If you don't know which one, Build a social media marketing agency and learn e-commerce. These things are gonna last for the next 50 years, really. Now, it's gonna get more competitive, it's better to get, but social media is here to stay. As much as people hate social media, I do not see it disappearing. It might turn into more virtual reality social media, but at the end of the day, humans are social creatures. There's a great book by a guy named Matt Lieberman called Social, he's a professor at UCLA. And um, yeah, I mean, you can't get away from the hardwiring of the human brain. Even when we dream, for example, Matt Lieberman told me, you never dream about inanimate objects. Have you ever had a dream like that there's a rock? You know, no, it's always, I used to have a dream. My dream, I had one recurring dream that I hated. It was I was playing basketball, I was back in high school. I played at one of the big high schools in the US, Enlo in North Carolina. and. Um, a lot of top basketball players came from there. John Wall came from my league, uh, Jerry Stackhouse, Michael Jordan, Chris Paul, all that North Carolina group was, was from that area. And I had this dream, I played varsity basketball. I had a dream that I'm, coach put me in the game and I can only run like half speed. You ever had that dream where you're like real slow? I actually read the science of why we dream about being slow. I forget what it is now. Anyway, I had this dream and they pass me the ball, but the ball, I never can catch it because they're always throwing it where I should be if I was running fast. Anyway, so even that dream is a social calibration dream. My point is, 
our DNA is not going to go away from social media because it's rooted in the word social. We want to see who likes our posts. Even if it's stupid, it's still there to stay. And so if you can learn to monetize social media, both for your own marketing like I do, and you can sell it as a service. This is, a, this is I started telling people this in October 2016. First day, the first student who listened to me, Jaden Gross, was 21 years old. He's a multimillionaire now. Multi His first question to me, he private messaged me about a month after being in the program, Ty, I don't have a bank account. How do I deposit this 20, I think it was either 28 or $30,000 check from one cosmetic surgeon who was paying him to do his Facebook ads. Ecom, one of my best success stories uh, when I launched the Ecom, pro and by the way, the programs are way better now. Like they got in it when there was like two hours of training. Now social media marketing is like 60 hours of training. Ecom is like 50 hours, maybe more. I think one of them is 100 hours. So like I said, 24 hours left to save $2,000 if you want to get in the programs. I'm going to read the names of some of the people getting in the programs. But Ecom, I had a guy, he's still, I still talk to him. He's in one of my testimonial videos. I don't know, I think he was from Detroit. And man, this dude figured out how to make a million dollars a month selling uh, clothing online netting a hundred thousand dollars even netting a hundred G's a month now again disclaimer not everybody had those results okay but I could tell you in the social media marketing the people who actually do what we train them to do I haven't seen somebody go hey Ty I did what you said I followed the training and it didn't work I have not seen that I have seen people say hey I got lazy and I never went through the course yeah well I can't help you if you're lazy there's no cure for laziness except pain, and then you get enough pain, and then you're good. Okay, Shopify has a free trial. Yeah, you could start, uh, today I was shooting, where's that sweater? My, one of my friends, Henner Gracie, his grandfather um, is the founder of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the Gracie family, and he's a black belt. And, and um, uh, anyway, so Henner Gracie goes, he launched a hoodie company. It's called, What's the name of it? Quick Flip is the name Hero Hoodie. Anyway, it's a hoodie that turns into a backpack. And he's got his website, he's got Shopify. And boom, he's in business. You know all these businesses that are going bankrupt? Like Sears is the most recent one. American Apparel. All these big, huge brands just disappearing. Kodak was the first one in 2012. Um, what's happening is it's switching over to e-com. It's not that people aren't buying clothes online. American Apparel just wasn't doing it right. American Apparel had too many stores. Now there's a guy out of LA who launched Fashion Nova, who I would say he, my guess is he's a billionaire or the company's a billion dollar plus company. Valuation. Fashion Nova's all over Instagram. What did he do? By the way, if you've been watching Fashion Nova, he combined social media marketing and e-commerce. And by the way, I just saw he bought a $17 million home in the Hollywood Hills. That's real estate investing. Hollywood Hills is a great place to buy real estate because it's a name brand and it ain't gonna go down unless, well, unless there's a nuclear holocaust or something, but then you're screwed, we're all screwed. Okay, let's read some comments. Question, Domo said, what's e-commerce? All right, I defined that earlier. Tell you rock. What's a good niche? A good niche for social media marketing and e-com. Here's the thing. I just, by the way, launched two e more e-com businesses. I launched the Mentor Box in 2016, and then we launched um, Grass-Fed Brands, which we're probably going to rename Farmers Box. It's food in a box. From gra it's grass-fed beef and chicken and pork in a box and we've been shipping it all over the US. We ran, the business did so well, we launched it in November of last year. In two weeks, we ran out of food, so that's why I'm, we're working on getting another 1,000 acres of real estate. Um, but e-commerce is just here to stay, it's insane. Like, so the best niche in e-commerce e is something that you use. That's like, so Henner Gracie launched his Quick Flip hoodie company and the way he did that is he always wears a hoodie because it's cold outside the gym 
but once you get in the gym, you take it off. And sometimes he goes, you know, to the beach or he goes somewhere where he has to take it off and he was tired of throwing the hoodie over his shoulder. So you just turn it inside out, it turns into a backpack, you throw it over your shoulder. So that's a great business, like literally. So e-commerce has a $21 trillion valuation in 2020, somebody says, Shiva. I could believe it, I could believe it. Ty, do you do grass-fed? brands internationally, not yet because of the food regulations. But my goal is to be able to sell uh, globally. I don't know if we obviously won't be in every country, but I'd like to go into Europe and all of North America. Now it's just all United States continental. We can't do Alaska um, and we can't do, uh, yeah, we can't do Hawaii because it takes too long to ship there. Okay. Do you think flipping houses is a great way to make money? Absol absolutely, like real estate. Here's what I love about real estate. It's getting better because there's a slowdown in the economy. New York, slowdown in the economy. And whenever things look bad to most people, that's when you should get excited because that means not, you don't have a lot of competition on properties. And also the sellers are getting more and more desperate. So they're doing owner financing and you can find hard money loans. I, I just bought, a uh, 30 acre piece that I'm gonna put a house on probably. And I got, I put $5,000 down. And I, I probably didn't need to do that. I probably gonna put a thousand bucks down. So, okay. Let's see who's jumping in the program. I got the link, tylopez.com. You can go to tylopez.com. It's right on the main page. Go to that special link. It's gone in 24 hours. You're gonna get four programs. Ecom, social media marketing, the full programs, um, real estate investing program, and the credit repair program. You're gonna save $2,000. After tomorrow, it goes back up. Somebody said they're helping someone who buys bankruptcy properties. Hey, that's a great thing to do. All right, hold on, let me find here. Uh, doom, doom, doom. Where did I change the real time? I gotta remember where I get the sales at now. Oh, I know where to look. Sorry, I built my own app so I can see. Got sick of Stripe and all these things. What is today? The 11th? All right. Jared Fortunatu. Alejandro Garduno, Logan McLean, Brian Wood, Mark Smith, Byron Wright, Akar Mayo Kiawa, wow, Jorge Collado, Kendrick Nunn, Albert Morales, Jeremy Roach, Steve Castro, Tiffany Gold, Gina, Gino Lucero. Here I get the, I made my own app, so I don't have to use Stripe. We use our own mids when we can. One of my businesses, Mentor Box, we primarily use Stripe. So this is kind of cool. Huh. 2020 marks the major chances of a recession. Yeah, I think a recession is going to come earlier. But you know what? I've been through multiple recessions as an entrepreneur. They've been my best years every time. 2008 was a horrible year for people who had a nine to five job, people who had a traditional income. It was a bad time, but entrepreneur, I remember that was the year, 2008, I'm trying to think. I mean, I was making seven figures in 2008 online. I can't remember if I was, I think I was making, it's a good question, 11 years ago. I would guess I made like a million bucks in my combined businesses, maybe a little bit more. I think I was making about 100,000 a month then, and then went up to 400,000 a month after that. So 2008 is when Facebook rolled out beta testing of their ads. I was one of the first people in Facebook ads. And so I remember I made $17,000 in one day net. I went, I was one of the first people to make some Facebook ads. I went to, on a date with this girl, went to have sushi. I came back, I made like 17 grand in five hours or four hours. It was crazy. 
Todd, uh, what do you think about the vegan diet? <laughs> I went, I, at the end of the year, I went vegan just to kind of cleanse and lean down. So I cut like 10 pounds. I think you should shuffle your diet around, unless it's like an ethical thing. Flexitarian, I think, is the best diet. It mimics nature the most. In nature, you go back 10,000 years how humans ate. In the summertime when there's buffalo around, they ate a lot of buffalo. In the winter, there wasn't so much around. They ate some roots. They ate a little bit of berries that they had stored up, pemmican and things like that. So they were kind of vegetarian in the winter, more so. And uh, yeah. Ty, can your course be resold by users? No, people try to do it. But the problem, if you buy like one of the, people say, oh, I can get you Ty's course for 10 bucks. It's not the full course because we have lots of stuff that you have to log into our site. And um, so those people just download like the old stuff and try to resell it. It's not that expensive right now. You go, go click on tylopez.com, click the banner right in the middle and look how cheap you can get them right now. I mean, it's insane. Put it this way, compare it to the cost of a college degree. Compare it to a English grammar degree, which will cost you uh, 10,000 a year. Maybe if you get some scholarships, 20,000 total. Well, that's a lot of money for most people. You know why one of the reasons I dropped out of college? I didn't have any money. My family didn't pay for my college, and uh, my stepdad's like, yo, get a job. So that made, I was forced to make an entrepreneur. I didn't grow up, you know, with a ton of money. Oh, how much time, what, how much time do we have left? Uh, about 30 minutes. No, on Instagram. Look on Instagram. Does it say how long we've been going? Huh? Okay. Mohammed said, SMMA, I can't generate Facebook ads in my country. What can I do? Mm, you can port, I mean, you could use a VPN if you know how to do it and tunnel in. I probably shouldn't be saying this online, but that's what people do. You can tunnel in from anywhere in the world. I got an office in China. My China guys come in and use, they check social media. They just, you know, China makes it illegal to be on Instagram and all this stuff. And they just boop, tunnel in into the U.S. electronically. Not literally tunnel in. They don't dig a tunnel under the Pacific Ocean. But Todd would rather invest in Shopify or buy a store than invest in college. Yeah, I mean, investing in Shopify, you can get a Shopify or a ClickFunnels or WordPress site. costs nothing. It's really cheap. Or maybe not literally nothing, but not a lot. Budget of $1,000, how can you start? Easy. Just get people to pay you to do their social media. It's the best business idea. I, I'm not going to say take all the credit for this because there's other people who have been teaching social media marketing, but I have by far trained the most people how to do social media marketing agency. Our, our program, no one's even close. It's, we created an industry in 90 countries. Everywhere I go in the world. When I was in Australia, I went with Arnold Schwarzenegger last year to teach, uh, to speak at his, me and him spoke at his uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He has this annual bodybuilding competition in Melbourne, Australia. And right when I landed, the first day before I spoke, I'm eating, the kid comes up to me. He was, I, I don't think he was out of high school, but 17 or 18, he's like, Ty, I built a social media marketing and somebody bought it off me. This is crazy. This, I posted it, I have the video somewhere. A lot of you saw it on my Snapchat. Um, so he, built a social media marketing agency and they bought it from him. another marketing company bought it because they wanted his customers I think for like 250 grand okay oh that's Australian dollars so it's a little bit different but still six figures US dollars then he took the money and and found this piece of real estate that somehow he changed the zoning and he was able to put it, it was just like one house and he was able to get eight apartments in it or something like that I forget the exact story but it was like eight apartments, he rents them all out. He said he, his main problem, he came up to me, he goes, Ty, I'm bored, I don't know what to do with it. Now I have passive income of $10,000 a month, Australian dollars, and I'm like 18, what do I do next? And I'm going, dude, this is a great first world problems. Ty, I got too much money at 18. So it happens, it happens, doesn't happen to everybody, but nothing happens to everybody. All right, let me read some more people here. Getting in the program. Oh man, oh. 
What's today? The 12th? Yes. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Ben Ebig, Brett Ashley, Gregory Ross got an SMMA. Allison, all good Allison. Did you put your name backwards? Is your, I guess your first name is probably Allison. Your last name's all good. Cynthia Marla Camacho Badillo. Definitely a Latin name. Latin people love my friend from Argentina. His name now is Dr. Herman Garcia Pablo Fresco. And there's another like four names. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? Nobody wants to say your whole family tree <laughs> every time we talk to you. I just, uh, yeah. Anyway, Cynthia, Cynthia Marla Camacho Badillo. She got in the e-com program. You can buy one of the programs or you can buy them all. You save, like I said, 2,000 bucks if you buy them all. Olivia Caneva got all four of the programs. Sweet, she got in the New Year's resolution. Okay, what else? Let's give away some more money. Which ones do? YouTube and Instagram? All right, YouTube, what up? Let's go. Somebody said, Austin said, I will be waiting to get paid. Cocky, man. Cocky. All right. Now he said, damn it. I haven't even announced it. He's already, he already was, this guy already had highs and lows before I could even <laughs> decide to pick anybody. He's already like, I got the money. Oh, I didn't get it. Hey, I didn't pick it yet, man. You're too impatient. Instagram. Let's start with Instagram. I'm going to pin somebody, or you pin, just to, I'll tell you when to stop. I'm not even looking at the screen, so it's fair. One, two, three. Who is it? Um, it's a laughing emoji. Diego loves everything. Diego loves everything. Is that with underscores? Nope. I lost my monitor. Should I pin it? Yeah, pin it. We're going to pin it on Instagram Live. Diego loves everything. Congratulations, man. <laughs> What's up, Hannah? Hannah's a Harlem Globetrotter. You popped in here. Let's go to YouTube. Give somebody, pay it forward. I think, how many people have I given 100 bucks to? Three? Four? four? I think this is, uh, this is number four. Th is this the fourth? Is it? What is it, Adam? Didn't I do YouTube already? I did YouTube and Twitter. This is the fifth, I think. Okay, let's pick YouTube. All right, this person I got says, here, come take a picture of this. Now, what's the best way to get people the money on YouTube? Should they post the announce? Should the winner put their email address? Or we just... Or we can... Um, can you DM people on YouTube? You can message them, right? Yeah, I think we can message you on... YouTube has a weird ass... You can also, if we announce you on YouTube, you can email support at tylopez.com, but you got to have a screenshot of you logged in with that username. People will try to cheat. People will sell their soul for 100 bucks. It's insane. I'm like, chill, bro. <laughs> People are like, make up 43 new accounts <laughs> trying to get verified on Instagram just to win 100 bucks. Okay, I want to pick somebody without looking. I won't look, Josh. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Who is it? Sick. The Melon Mama. Whoa. Holy shit, what was that? All right, the Melon Mama. I saw. What is this, touch screen? Yeah, it's a touch screen. Is it really? I think. The Melon Mama, I saw you. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll find it. It's a weird name. So, there it is. Oh, no, Mellow Mama, not Melon. I thought I said Melon. She said, if you don't pick up a penny, you're not worth a penny. Uh, I don't think you, can, you can't do it. So, you just have to take a picture of her. Yeah, let's go to the channel. Oh, we're going to your channel. What's her channel look like? The Mellow Mama. I thought you were the Melon Mama. Uh, actually, that's... Oh, the Mellow Mama. She's got a little channel there. 14,000 subscribers with her, is it just son or daughter? Daughter. Well, Mellow Mama, there you go. What other questions do people have? Now, I've been giving away money. You know the saying, give a man a fish, feed him for a day? I'm trying to feed, feed you for longer than a day. So what do you need to know to increase your income? Who has a question on social media, marketing agency, e-commerce, Real estate or fixing your credit? Pick one. Pick a question. You guys can read the question too if you see them. What, uh, 
what motivates you? What motivates me? Um, you know, there's something I call the four M's of motivation. Most humans, whether they admit it or not, are motivated by one of the four M's. Money, mating, uh, movement, which is like freedom, or mastery, which is status. And it's different. People are different. Some people are very money. Mo I'm actually not as money motivated as people think. I am movement motivated. Like, I need to feel free. I, I get bored easily. I would not want to have, I once dated a girl and the reason we broke up, great relationship. I could have married this woman, but man, her dream was like a man with a nine to five job, comes home every day at six, they got two kids, they live in the suburbs. I don't have any problem with any of that, but that's not for me. The suburbs life thing, I can't do. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a house in the suburbs. I have a house, one, in fact, this one's in the suburbs. This is in the East Coast. This is the basement here, my gym, little gym. I'm almost done putting in my road cage, a better cage, but I cannot live full life in, in that environment. So I learned a long time ago, whenever I feel like procrastinating or fear or I need to make more money, I just go tie. It's gonna increase your freedom, your movement, the third M. So everybody here, leave a comment. What do you think is your motivator of the four Ms? Money, mating, that's like, you know, love, dating, sex, movement slash freedom, or mastery slash status. Mastery sla status means a lot of social media influencers, not all of them, but that's their motivation. They want to get a lot of likes. They want people to know them, to like them. They're social butterflies. Uh, mine, believe it or not, is not really that. That's... I'd use social media, but to me, it's like a, a means to an end, you know? It's just you gotta, I've always believed in catching trends. So I, I caught the trend of social media. It's not like my first love, like, oh, I need a lot of likes. But if likes translate into more financial success, which translates into more freedom for me, then I'll be on social media, you know? How much capital do you need to start a drop shipping company? Well, the word drop shipping basically means you don't need capital. Here's the thing about e-commerce. A lot of you are trying to build it the hard way. I'm gonna give you a little professional tip here. If I was just starting out, I didn't know what to do, I wouldn't do e-commerce for my own product. And I'm, I might do drop shipping, but I would go find somebody who already is, has a product and had been selling it for years, maybe out of a store, maybe they're a restaurant, maybe it's a friend. Like I said, my friend, Henry Gracie, he has his, his hoodie business. I found somebody who has a clothing line. Um, I knew this girl in LA, she worked at a bikini store. Literally a store, I'm like, how's this dude in business selling bikinis out of a store in Riverside? She goes, well, he doesn't make much money. I said, why don't you do the e-commerce and become a business partner and get shares in the business, get equity in the business, and then help them literally sell online. And I haven't followed up if she listened to my advice. but. Then you could be doing e-commerce with zero of your own dollars. Learn to use other people's money. In real estate, in e-commerce, and social media. Other people's money. When you don't have money, you gotta use other people's money. And people understand that. I mean, welfare, people are on welfare, that's other people's money. People get college, degree, uh, college scholarships. They get grants, that's other people's money. People somehow understand it intrinsically, but when it comes to their career, they forget like, oh, I could apply that here. It's weird. Apply it in all areas of your life, you know? Okay. How much more time do I have on Insta? I'm about to go off. Okay. So I'm just going to wrap up by saying tomorrow this link won't work. TyLopez.com slash New Year's Live. Save $2,000. You're going to get enough training for all of 2019. Literally, these four programs sell separately for 2,500 bucks or more. I mean, it depends, each one has a different price. But I'm gonna give them to you all four or you can get um, just one of them or two of them, we can mix and match. So you can add one of them, the credit repair program, the social media, you can leave out the e-com or the real estate or you can get all four, I mean, it's do what you wanna do. Let me read off a few people getting in the program. We got Parsa R. Oh no, that's something else, sorry. Got in a different program. Olivia Caneva. 
Ben Ebig, Brett Ashley, Gregory Ross. Where is Parsa R from? Richmond Hill, Canada. Omar Ali just got in the social media marketing program in Georgia. Sweet, 21 years old. So, I lost my monitor, by the way. All right, if you got any questions, I may uh, pop on here tomorrow live a little bit. For those of you who won, if you wanna be extra sure, if you're not on Instagram, we can't DM you. If you won the $100 pay it forward, send a picture of you logged in, like screenshot, and what I would do is just like hold your laptop up to your face and take a picture so we know it's your face and logged into your YouTube account. You only gotta do that for YouTube. A Twitter, we can message you, Insta, Facebook do that, and uh, we'll send you the money on Monday. We'll PayPal you. I think we've PayPal five people, 500 bucks, so. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna give away right now my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I just gave away 10,000 bucks on Instagram in the last couple weeks. So go here to my Instagram, Ty Lopez. Go here, here's a post I just did. I'm gonna do it right now to close out. Just like the post and leave a comment and I'm gonna pick one person. You got one minute, 60 seconds. Go to Instagram.com slash Ty Lopez and comment and like on my last post. And you gotta follow me. You gotta be a follower. Because if you ain't a follower, it's, I can't DM you if you win. Sometimes people win, they don't follow me. When I go to DM them, it goes in their spam DMs and they don't see it. And then people go, oh, I didn't get my money. I'm gonna read the comments. I'm gonna see who's liking it. Randy Jimenez, Terrence Wynn, Keaton Beardall, Adoree C, Mr. Clean 32, Jack Evans 22, Erica Joy, Tristan Mora. Let's see who's following. All right. <laughs> Someone said, Ty, I'm eating air for the next six months to get your course. Well, I hope you don't have to eat air to get my course. That would be it. sad. Justin Wilder. That Sarah kid, here from the live stream. How, how much of the individual courses want to make a change? All right, Sarah, I'm sending you 100 bucks. $100 on PayPal to help you out. And I'm gonna do it one more time. You got about 30 seconds left. Th at that Sarah kid, 100 bucks. I like reading all the names people have. A Guzman, Miana Meme, Miss Desiree, Sky Soldier, D. Banwit, Genesis, Adona Aguirre, Forever Drippin'. Ooh, I don't know if I wanna, I don't know if that's a good username. That could be misinterpreted. I know what you're trying to say with that, but be careful with your usernames here. Seneca Sai, very true, 2019 and all years to come is the year of focus and discipline. Now I'm gonna see who's liking this, who's liking this post I just did. Let's go. You know what I hate? They always do the, the likes. Um, they don't do them in chronological order. Yeah, the algorithm does like yeah. this like. Yeah, it puts like your closest friends. But I can see people who like, Cam Simmons, Drippy Chino. What's up with Drippy? Matty Garris, yeah. Jordan Walker, 512, Moises, 920, Terry Yaki. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my name to Terry Yaki. Nathan Evans. Man, I can't even tell if that's a real person. So three minutes now. Three minutes, all right, we're about underscore Bruce Martinez. We got, all right, I'm about to pick somebody who's liking this post. Liking or following, I'm gonna pick somebody who like or follow. Aloida found skate, it's Mava B. Esteban, David.LZ underscore. 
El Juan Pabruk. All right, three, two, one. Here we go. It's Dream with a two M's XO. Congratulations. I'll just DM her. So look here. Did you get that one that I did? One right now? Here, I'll screenshot I'll it. Okay. There. It's, just take a picture of my phone. It's Dream MXO. And you should be able to see on my Instagram, I, yeah, though, but this one's not a comment, it's a DM. Okay. All right, everybody. See you, see you in the program. For those of you I don't see in the program, maybe I'll see you sometime when I'm speaking in person or you never know, on the streets, wherever. Hope you have a good 2019. Remember, build the four pillars of financial success. Stop procrastinating, let's go.